It seems like nowadays, every video game protagonist has a horse and is able to call that horse with a really cool sounding whistle. So this challenge is all about learning to whistle loudly using just my mouth. fourth or fifth grade when I finally learned the normal whistle like this and it wasn't until college that I decided to try to learn to whistle with my fingers so now my challenge is can I learn to whistle without sticking my hand in my mouth first I watched a bunch of YouTube videos of people explaining how they whistle like this but I knew just like singing, no amount of explaining was going to instruct myself exactly how I needed to put my mouth in order to whistle. After a couple of hours of just experimenting randomly, I decided to spend five to seven minutes each practice session on the nine different lip and tongue combinations. I did this partly because my muscles would just get sore from doing one thing over and over and because I wanted to vary up my practice routine. I didn't really know what I was looking for in making this sound, so I wanted to have a lot of different variety in my practice to experiment with and get me there quickly. So there's a couple different ways I'm practicing today. I have three different tongue positions that I'm trying. One where my tongue is um, behind my teeth on the roof of my mouth. So my tongue is on the hard palate of my mouth. The second tongue position is where my tongue is between my teeth and I just let air escape by kind of, uh, by bending the shape, making a U shape in my tongue. The third shape is a valley shape where my tongue is buried, um, where my tongue is buried close to my bottom teeth and I create a valley fold in my tongue, like this. Then I have three different lip positions that I'm trying. One where both of my lips are pulled over my teeth. Um, a kind of displaced F shape, um, but instead of F, the, uh, my, my teeth touch the back side of my um, lips, like this. And then the third lip position is the bottom lip is stretched, but not over the teeth. So like this. So it's not pulled over like this, like this. Eventually I was able to get this kind of low whooshing sound and I could feel the air bouncing on my bottom lip. I remember one of the videos explaining that you, he could feel the air bouncing here and that was really helpful for me. So if you're learning to whistle, um, watch all these videos, take a bunch of things into consideration, but just remember everything is a guideline. Learning to whistle or to sing is all about following the rules and then breaking them to see what works for you. One of the problems with people on YouTube trying to explain how they whistle 
is they're really excited to show off their new skill and they are convinced that they figured it out. They know exactly the way to make a whistle and they wanna share that with people. And that's a good thing. As viewers, we have to remember that what works for one person may not work for us. It's all about experimenting for yourself. You have to find out how you can make the sound. So when I was getting that low whooshing sound on the bottom of my lip, that was a good indicator that it was different from anything else and that I should pursue that course more. Another thing is all the videos talked about having a lot of tension on this bottom lip of pulling it tight like this. And I, I was following that religiously. I was really putting a lot of tension and pressure on my bottom lip. And in the end, I didn't need to. I actually made the whistle sound when I was more relaxed and when I wasn't thinking so much about tension. Just a tip, whenever you're learning a sound skill, be courteous to those around you. We don't start off making pretty sounds usually, and people are very forgiving for a short amount of time. It took me hours upon hours of just making a weird whooshing air sound before I came anywhere close to even making a whistle sound. So because I love and cherish my wife, I spent a lot of time practicing outside. I'm not even sure what day this is. Um, I've been going through the different uh, nine positions, nine possibilities that we have, uh, practicing a little bit each day. And then yesterday, as I was practicing, I, I was kind of distracted. I think I was texting a friend and I could almost feel the chamber in my mouth resonating. Um, because I can whistle with my fingers, And so it felt similar to that. Um, so I think if I keep going on that, that path that I may be able to get a whistle. Um, also, it, it felt pretty different from what I have been trying with these different positions. Um, I've been using a lot of muscle and a lot of like energy to try to get the sound using these positions. And when I, the other day when I had that, um, that moment where it felt like it was working, um, I was actually pretty relaxed. I wasn't thinking about it too much, um, and th there wasn't a lot of tension in my mouth. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try. That's not really the loud sound that I've that I've been wanting. So. That was it! <laughs> okay. Alright, I wanna see how I can do it again. Ah, now I can if somebody's crossing the street dangerously and if I and I need to protect them, I can just whistle. Um, I'm gonna get a mirror. Yeah, it definitely looks like my tongue. I can see the little divots, the U shape. And then for the lips, everything is pretty closed for me. A displaced F. So.
Or maybe that's a normal F. That's kind of a normal F. But for me, the biggest thing is there's not a lot of tension. Um, when I was trying these different methods before, I was using a lot of pressure. Everything can be kind of loose. And also, because I, I still haven't memorized exactly what it feels like and how to get that, that whistle sound the first, the first second. Um, so sometimes I'm kind of like moving my tongue back and forth in order to try to get that sound to come back. Here's a deep philosophical thought I've been working on. The process of learning is having failed thousands of times, getting back up to try once more. While I've finally reached my goal and can whistle the way I was hoping to, I'm gonna keep on practicing for the weeks to come to see if I can control the pitch of the whistle. First, I need to get a nice steady tone and then I can start moving things in my mouth to change the resonating chamber to hopefully get different pitches. There's nothing like being able to whistle a melody. So I want to be able to do that really loudly. Um, so I'm going to keep practicing, see if it's possible. YouTube just sent me my monthly update and it says I got 948 minutes of watch time. Those are good numbers, but pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. So if you enjoy what you're watching, please like and share the video. Most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's the first milestone in the YouTube journey. It's not a lot, but it's also not a little. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next challenge.